What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of What's Hot. We have Alex here. Hey guys and me, Mike, for another episode. Uh, let's get into it. What do we got, right. Alex? So we got some new inline spinners, and we got the little shaker and the little whacker. So they're going to be your bigger inline spinner baits, uh, pretty much musky style lures, but guess what? They work for everything. Snakes, snakes, rockfish, rockfish bass. Uh, these guys here have a little different prop, so they're going to do a different vibration on there, which fish obviously will love on there. And those have your typical like Colorado style bait, a uh, blade on there. They even have a tube on the hook. And they have a scented. Tube. Yep. Scented so tube. got a couple different sizes, different colors there. So make sure you try them Can't out. Can't wait to try those. Uh, obviously, you know, I'm definitely getting the white one for snake heads there. Um, mm -hmm. Little guys here. Now these guys Hilda here. Brandt. Hilda Brandt's, same thing. A little bit different style inline spinner. Uh, Smaller profile in there. So, you know, those guys, obviously, same thing will work for most of your fish around here. And they have a little inline uh, single hook on there with a little, uh, I guess it's... It's called the Snagless Sally. Snagless Sally. And you got two actual wire keepers there to Which keep some of that, nice. you know, uh, reeds and, and grass and all like, that off. It doesn't see, look like a really flimsy wire. It looks like quite a stiff wire, yeah. so that's going to be good for... Grasses, and you can probably knows. adjust it too. Yeah, yep. it's going to be really nice. It's going to be really, really cool. All right, so moving on, um, we got some new gulp colors in. Gulp. I'm very excited because hot flounder, flounder fishing is great right now on the wrecks and in shores. Um, so we have the new um, white or pearl with the pink tail. That's going to be great. Everybody loves the little swimming mullet. This is the four inch. We also have it in the pearl with the chartreuse tail two best colors for or three best colors pink chartreuse and white why not have a combo of them and if you need more we have them in the um i don't even know what they call this small tubs and then the big one yeah the you definitely won the big ones yeah, yeah eight ounces versus the 12 and a half ounces and then you got your little packs to add to them if you need to be um but i'm very excited about to try those i'm gonna try them out this week um hopefully get some big old flatties on them what do we have next, Alex? We got the bullseye little spinner bait guy here. Z Man. So that guy's got the, you know, Texas eye jig, which everybody loves with that eye. And they just had a little, you know, spinner. They're great for speckled trout, mm -hmm. redfish, rockfish, bass fishing, little snake finesse, head. Snake it's head. a strong hook. And the spinner blade, I actually bought one the other day. Mm -hmm. And it's a very, very, very strong wire. Um, spinner blade so that's going to be really good it won't it won't bend out on you um the actually has a ball bearing swivel for the spinner blade so it's going to be i can i was doing hitting it the blade and it was just spinning and spinning and spinning it would not stop just because it's due to that ball bearing so you can really nice. really slow too. and it will still flicker and such so you pan fishermen some hot here yes especially you that like crappie fishing uh tungsten fly jig with that red color there tungsten ball with a real tiny hook a little bit of hair it's going to be great under a float like kimbra likes mm -hmm. to do float and fly um uh, under a slip bobber like a really small slip bobber and it's nice because they're tungsten a little so bit heavier yeah. a little bit heavier but smaller in profile you can do almost like a chest speak sabiki with this oh for sure do a double drop and drop it down and mm -hmm. catch Adam, them i'm perch. actually probably going to do that very soon because yep. that is a great idea mm -hmm. moving on to some ammo we got in we got, everybody knows our milk cartons of 22. We now got one of 17 HMR. Oh. Yeah. It's just a little milk carton. Even says want to, wanted on the back. Opossum. Yeah. Last seen playing dead. How awesome <laughs> is that? I mean, I know people just want to buy it just for that because it's pretty cool. Well, it's a bulk pack of um, 17 HMR, 125 rounds. It's pretty cool. Anybody that has a 17, pretty cool to get one of those. And then... New Hot Lick 350 Legend. Ooh. We have um, Target Rounds, the Full Metal Jacket. Um, everybody knows it's everybody now legal. That now. Yep, for yep. the straight wall cartridge, you don't want to spend the money on the hunting rounds. You can just get some Target Rounds to um, sight in your gun or just go shoot at the range and not have to um, break spend the bank by sh yep. shooting them. Um, so, very exciting there. We'll go in, I'm sure when we do our next guns and stuff, we'll go more in depth to the 350 Legend. But um, that being said, what do we Ooh, have next? This oh. little guy here. Little. Little. Uh, <laughs> well, we got some new uh, gigs for everybody striker. Everybody knows the snakeheads. Snakeheads. Carp. Carp. 
I mean, frogs, frogs, all really, this stuff. Really big. Frog. All the legal stuff you're allowed to stab. Let's say that. Yes. So, <laughs> I think it's a ten foot uh, aluminum pole with your actual heavy duty, uh, very stainless, heavy gig um, here. Pretty sharp, you know. Keep it somewhere safe. Mm -hmm. You don't want the kids running around. Very, with this. very strong, welded. Yep. Everything like that. So you know, if you want to stab some snakeheads at night, or just stab anything that you're supposed to stab, yep. then, you know. Get some of those guys here. Oh, can't forget about the other gig we have here. Ooh, talk about this little guy. This is the Extendo gig. I don't know if that's the actual name. I just call it that. Um, it's <laughs> telescoping um, handle with a quick release frog spear. So it's good. You can um, frog. Everybody loves frog gigging. It actually telescopes out. Oh, nice. So I can nice. actually do it. There we go. If you want a little bit more challenge, probably can try to get a snake it on that. It can be really long. It's really cool. Of course, you probably can't see it on camera because, you know, it's the way it is but that's another cool one um we got here lightweight aluminum it's gonna be a cool one to gig frogs snake heads possibly wherever yep. else you want to stab as alex says so um what do you want to talk about next no we got rods? two rods over there uh two different manufacturers here actually uh, you called that because i was yeah. gonna hit them on the ceiling <laughs> you, you called that so we got one here from shimano and this is a claris mm -hmm. uh, it's upside down but you know here we go uh, we have three different models on that, I believe, in stock. We got a 5'6 ultralight, uh, two piece, six foot and six medium, mm -hmm. and this, this guy here, which is a seven foot medium. Uh, they're all pretty much creed rods for multi purpose stuff. Yep. Rockfish, jigging. Like the split grip. It actually does have a longer handle yeah. than most other rods. Which um, I love that. Which I love that. You can tuck it under your armpit, yeah. you know, get that leverage on the fish. It's a reel off the gunnels on the boat. Yep. So, you know, awesome little rod here. And they don't break the bank. They're actually pretty, pretty decent price. I got myself about. a couple of the 6.6 six mediums just to keep in the truck, and uh, they actually work pretty good. So, what do we have next here, Alex? Now your got rod, dude. Daiwa Fuego. Oh my you know, gosh. It's fire. Fire. I mean, this rod's so mean just because, you know, it's red, black, and, you know, uh, it's also a two piece. So this is an actual new model from iCast, uh, which got, it's got the little cool, you know, um, keep, not a keeper, but, you know, I just, don't know. I can't think of the name either. I can't think of it right now. But Lighting yeah, it's cool. It looks or... good. Yeah, just a real seat. Uh, but yeah, that's the new uh, Fuego. It's a six six medium, mm -hmm. uh, two piece. And if you like red or anything, it's pretty good. It's gonna be a, a nice graphite blank on there, and uh, they're gonna be pretty sensitive. And once again, it's a under a hundred dollar rod, so it's fantastic for the price point. Match yes. it up with your Fuego reels. Yep. Moving on, we got some new cups and such. Uh, we got the new um, Yeti Rambler 30 Ooh. tumbler in copper for all you guys that still like the metal metallic look. Got a copper mm -hmm. color. That's pretty cool looking. I like it. Still great Yeti quality. Um, magnet lid and all that good stuff. Keeps it cold. Moving on, we got the new Brewmate flasks. Oh, yeah. The liquor container canteen, of course, that dropped. Um, we got a cool little bedazzly dazzle one and then two um other ones that has like a rubbery feel to it I'm gonna carry your liquor whatever else you want to keep in there get one for yourself and get one for your wife you yeah know? i mean exactly that's the way to go yep um we got some stickers here oh new stickers i think they're I, everybody loves stickers I mean, who doesn't like to put them on the maryland windshield? what flag stuff as always you got the hook Got this little rockfish anchor. It's pretty cool. I actually like this one a lot. Yes. Crap pot. We got uh, a marlin here. Marlin flag. Monkey flag. Yep. You know, put it on your buckets. Anything yes. you want cooler or something. Tight lines with a skeleton and a fighting chair with a rod. That's pretty neato because you never usually see that. Um, <laughs> just cool stickers. Everybody loves stickers. I love stickers. Put them anywhere and everywhere. Yep. Um, Get yourself a cooler bucket. Yep. So just put them on there. You want to go over some... We'll that Ooh, clothing we got over there. We can't Ooh. always got to get some clothing. I'm gonna talk that over. Okay. Um, got some new Nomad stuff. Lightweight um, hunting stuff. It's a different camo pattern. I do not know what the camo pattern is. It's gonna be veal. Veal camo. It's nice, lightweight, mesh back. Um, super, super lightweight. We got a matching um, lightweight pant as well as a short sleeve as mm. well as a long sleeve shirt for, you know, early season bow hunting, dove hunting, you're going out west 
It's hot. You want something cool, lightweight. Especially right now. Oh yeah. God. These are super nice. I do believe they're moisture wicking. I might be lying or about that. Or if you that. just like to wear camo. You know? Yeah. It's Why just not? cool. Um, yeah. It's pretty cool. Moving on to some more hunting stuff. My favorite. Got some new microbrew craft scents for deer hunting. Chainsaw, mm. Chainsaw Brian's Premium Doe Estrus. And Trapper Delicious. John's. Trapper John's Ultimate Buck Lure. Yep. I like the red one. Yes, phenomenal. Um, this one has 10 sexual attractions. It actually says it. Yikes. This one only has eight. Um, but it says, you never know when the performance of this lure pays off. You might just need to bust out your own chainsaw and build a bigger meat pole. I don't know what that means, but it sounds cool. Hey. Um, yes, whatever gets there them going, right? has some, a touch of territorial musk. Um, and another secret ingredient and make it even hotter. I don't know what any of that means, but that's really cool. Um, it comes with a key, um, key wick scent, um, to, or key wick so you can put the scent on. It's a cool little package you got here. It's brand new from Wildlife Research. Um, so get, get it and get ready for the, the rut and get your, your deer hunting. Going. Yes, because we don't have that much. Yeah. It's going to be hot. It's going to fly off the shelves. Especially with this supply chain. So. Yeah, so <laughs> uh, get your cool scents. And then last but not least, it wouldn't be any type of what's hot video without alcohol. Alcohol. And now this might look pink, but you know, it's it's pretty it's pretty good. And it's, it's a, a flora rose. Yep. It's wine, you know, it's, it's a a pretty, sparkling sparkling right? wine. Uh, I find a camera, right? Wine uh, yeah. spritzer. Wine I'm spritzer. gonna try these tomorrow. It's just gonna saying, be it's so. gonna be a good one. Um, I'll let you guys know if it's good. People out there that like your wine spritzers in a can. Here we go. We got them. Um, I think that I'm gonna, I'm gonna think wrap up. Yep. We got. I think we got everything. Right. Yes, yeah. sir. All right, guys. We'll, we'll see you guys. next week on another episode of What's Hot. Thanks, Alex, for joining Thank me here. Guys. Now you're doing the fishing report usually, but we got you in the um, What's Hot video. So <laughs> we'll see you next week. Thanks. How are we doing?